Everybody, welcome back. Uh, sorry for the delay in posting videos. I've uh, been quite busy getting married and going on honeymoon and all that joy. Uh, so now back in the UK, getting some time on the beach again. I'm at Robin Hood's Bay uh, today, trying to make the most of this lovely weather that you can see that we've got. Um, but I was trying to get down the quick way, down this bit, the rocky foreshore. Uh, unfortunately, they're doing a lot of works uh, just around this corner here, uh, doing the defensive measures for Robin Hood's Bay. So at the minute that whole path is closed, you have to come down the, the sandy beachway. So it's a bit of a longer walk. Uh, my goal for today, to wander back around that headland. Last time I was here, I did it. Uh, plan to do it again, see what we can find. Uh, no idea what we will find. I'm hoping another big ammonite would be great, some marine reptile bone. Realistically, just hoping for some good fossils uh, and making the most of this lovely weather. Uh, I'll hope to be out again next week, but uh, I will also highlight that next week is uh, the half term break for students. So a lot of kids and their families will be out, especially when the weather is this nice. Uh, so the fossil hunting might be a bit, a bit patchy for the next little bit as uh, all the beaches get scoured over. That being said, I'm sure we'll find stuff uh, and I'll be back with you soon. I thought I'd just show this to you guys. This is my ring, uh, kind of a fun one. So it's made of tungsten carbide. Uh, tungsten carbide being the same material that is found in all of the, uh, the tips for the Dremels and the air scribes. So you might see it on my hand now. It might disappear later depending on how much it affects me being able to hold a rock like this and hit it with a hammer. Uh, so don't stress if it disappears. It is there. It'll just go into a pocket to keep it safe. One other thing to talk about is why we have wedding bands on that left ring finger. Uh, you might hear the myth that that's the finger that the arteries uh, go directly from the heart to. Um, but that's kind of sums up all arteries. They all go from the heart to somewhere. Uh, the uh, left ring finger isn't the only one that has it. There's a reason you get told if you're doing a pulse measurement not to use your thumb because there's also a nice big artery in the middle of your thumb that you feel if you put pressure on it. So just a little aside whilst we're talking about weddings and rings. Uh, and I'm walking across the foreshore. Robin Hood's Bay is here. Uh, I've walked around this bit. This bit here is filled with lots of big shelly blocks. Uh, and apparently this is where you find a lot of the, the rarer little ammonites from the lower Elias. I always get distracted though just by the shells because the quality of the shells around here is just incredible. I always love them. A nice big chunk of wood. Can't say I was expecting to find this leather bag down here. Presumably someone's dropped it from way up there. Uh, but on the beach, if anyone wants to find themselves a leather bag. I hope you all can see this. So we've got a piece of wood, starts all the way down here, goes all the way up, uh, knots in it and everything. This is <laughs> a silly length of time. This is uh, this is Lower Lias, so this must be like 190 million years old, this piece of wood. And it looks like it could have just been washed up by the sea today. It's crazy. Just a usual reminder, even if it's not pouring with rain, it's not the middle of winter, these cliffs are still dangerous, still lots of rocks coming down. Uh, in fact, uh, some places will be more dangerous as the cliffs dry out, the wind picks up, uh, they'll all crack and start crumbling. So just be careful when you're walking along the cliffs. Uh, and consider that next week with it being half term if you're out collecting to not set a bad example for the young'uns. Don't want to have any injuries or issues and um, we definitely don't want to put off young people in the future. Just saw this lovely bivalve sticking out of a rock down there. Hit it out uh, so it's complete. Nice looking bivalve. Bit of extras to make, take off the edges but looks lovely. I picked up this one just seeing this edge of what looked like an ammonite. And I turned it over and actually there's another one right there. Uh, and that looks like it might be mostly there. Uh, forgive me for not remembering the names of the ammonites. I want to say a pleuroceros, but I could be wrong on that. I'll put the correct name up uh, in post. But yeah, nice find. Look at the size of this scallop shell. That's a beauty. 
starting to get around to the rocks that I'm more familiar with, so starting to pick up the ammonites with the edges just sticking out. So we'll give that one a little tap later, although it looks like this edge might be gone already. So we'll have a look-see. Little deck just sitting there. Eh, not great, but not terrible. Give that a tap and see what happens. Well, that makes me sad. Two terrible splits. Dak, and I think this was a hildy looking at uh, the shell. But hopefully we can get a better split just now. There's a few more rocks around, so we'll see what we can find. Hopefully you're all regular viewers of the channel. And if you are, you know how much I love a good hildy. And look what we've got. A nice hildy. Bit dinged up around the edges, but otherwise she looks all right. Take that. Nice. And you know what's better than one Hildy? A second Hildy. That one looks pretty good too. Awesome. And you know what's better than two Hildys? A third. Even though that one's pretty mangled, I think. But there might be another thing in this side. So we might have three Hildys plus something else in here. We'll have to open that later and see. I've been picking up a bunch of likely looking nodules. And there just seems to be a lot that's fallen in this area recently. So there's a deck there. There's another one in the side of that one. And another one with an edge just sticking out there. Just gave this one a whack. Didn't expect to have anything in it and it's a stunner. Uh, unfortunately it's broken up a bit so I might have to get some glue out and put it back together and see what we can do with it. Uh, I've been working my way around picking up a few more nodules. This one looks to be potentially very interesting, so there's a big edge of one right there. Uh, looks like a Paranoceros with little bumps on it. But I turned it around and there's another one there, so it looks like there's a nice double. Uh, and potentially some more in there because some nice shape to it. Uh, this one, unfortunately, is a really sad Paranoceros. Uh, it looks beautiful, you can see all the little spines all the way around, and then you turn it over and it's completely squished. Uh, sad times, but hey ho. Got a few other nodules. Uh, this one looks like it has some potential. Uh, it's got a nice shell and there is an ammonite section there. There's another big section of uh, nodule that's got nothing showing on it so we'll tap all of these. Uh, I'm rapidly running out of time but I found such a good spot. I'm kind of trying to make the most of it and search as quickly as possible. And then I'll tap as many of these before uh, then hustling back around. So this one I know is gonna be a great DAC uh, just because you can see it all the way around. Uh, I didn't want to hit it, but that, that crack runs all the way along and it will not survive the trip home uh, like that. So I'm going to give it a tap and just see how it opens. I know everyone is looking at the saying, don't do it, uh, but I'm going to. We'll see how it goes. No, I'm not actually going to take that the rest of the way. That's going to be a beauty. So I'll just leave that. So just to give you a reminder of why you keep away from the cliffs, I just took a rock to the back of the head uh, and I'm bleeding very slightly. Uh, so a good example of if you're too close to the cliffs, even if you're quite a long way from the cliffs, you need to back further up because those cliffs, you hit the shelf up there, which is what the rock did, came a long way off and cracked me in the head. I'm very lucky uh, that it wasn't anything worse than that. Um, so do just be supremely careful. Uh, Oh, <laughs> no. Ugh, oh, shame. Little lobster nodule. Perfect. Needs a bit of a rinse, but that looks to be a stunner. Another butte. Just a quick game of spot the fossil as my outro as I forgot to record a proper one. One day I'll remember, but not today. Overall it's been a pretty good trip to Robin Hood's Bay. Uh, not an awful lot from that lower Elias section that Robin Hood's Bay is famous for. Um, but when we got around to the middle upper Elias sections, as you head to Whitby, they got very productive. 
Um, so just a quick rundown of some of the things we've got. Uh, so there we go. in the video you'll Also got this lovely little pleurosaurus ammonite, so ignore the after bit here, that's from a different ammonite that's gone. Uh, but you can see underneath it, hopefully there's this keel of what I think should be relatively complete, might be missing the edge here. Um, but underneath this, there should be more of it, so hopefully we can get that out later. Then uh, we've got my favourites, the three Hildes. Uh, that one's quite a big one, as you can see from the size of my hand. Um, there's a few Paranoceruses, so you've got one, two, three, four Paranoceruses, although this one actually is a double. So you can see a keel here, and if you tip it over, there's actually another keel down here. So that will get prepped uh, properly. There may actually be other ones inside this, but this this uh, Paranoceruses could actually be quite a big one in here. So I'm not sure about this knob, uh, but we'll see. Uh, I've got a DAC double. So there's two no, uh, keels showing and there's on the side here there's crystals so there's obviously another one that was there there may be more inside that will go get prepped as well and then we've got other bits and pieces um, some nice split decks uh, and then we get to the ones that I'm never sure uh, whether they're the tenny castatums or semi salatums so I've got a few of these this one split really nicely um, so we got that one Another one here that's broken a little bit on the corner, but that's on this counterpart. And then, yeah, the best one is in here. And so you can see there's a bit exposed there, a bit exposed on that edge, and a bit on that edge. Um, so it's all in there. It looks like the shell should be on all of it. But I'm being a bit careful because there's a crack that runs, as you can see here, up and around. Um, so we need to just be a little careful as to not break it. There's another one there. And so this will get professionally prepped as well at some point. Um, but yeah, I'm not too upset about that. Um, the pickings are apparently pretty slim across the coast, so when you come away from a trip with that much stuff, never going to complain. Uh, thanks again for watching everyone, and glad to be back and finding some more fossils. Hopefully have some more videos out next week.